Hello and welcome to Megawatt, where each week we give you the lowdown on the latest piece of kit from the world of technology and gadgets. This week we've come to the woods because you'll always find a big surprise and to look at two new products from Leapfrog in very different directions about teaching our children and having some fun at the same time. So will they work? Stay tuned to find out. Are you sitting comfortably? Let me read your story. Now, you're probably quite confused. You're watching a consumer technology program and I'm about to talk about a book. Yes, it's a good old fashioned book with, you know, nice pictures. But this is where it's exciting. Leapfrog has come out with a new system called the tag. And the idea is using this pen, I press areas of the book and it reads it out to me. So we're gonna show you how it works. So go to the first page, got this on. And anywhere I press, Hi there, that's Matt. He's my pet grasshopper. It talks to me. K M R. Now you might think, well, that's all very well because I'm touching different bits of the book. What if I touch the leaf? I get a cool thing. Now, in addition to that, a kid can press play, and it starts to tell the story. Okay, so we're now going to read the story. So the idea is you read your way through the book and pressing. There we go. Now we can pause and then we can press other things. So there's a little funky monster up here. So if we go press him, I get a good roaring sound. It's really cool. It's pretty interactive. Now, the great thing is that obviously reads the story for you. You can go back, you can go forward. And then towards the back, there are games. So we choose level one. Level one. Hey, Mac, let's check out all the bugs in your book. When you hear a bug's name, touch it. Ready? Go. Touch the queen bee. That looks like that one. Queen bee. Well done. Touch Yay. The so I'm going to stop that. Now, before we carry on, let me just briefly talk to you about the pen. The pen itself is stylus. Obviously, there's the little marker at the bottom where you, mark, you press onto the page. But other than that, it has headphones, so you don't have to hear that annoying stuff. So great for the back of the car if they don't want to throw up while reading. And also you can then connect it to the PC. Now this holds five books in total at any one time. You can obviously store more books on your PC uh, and then you just transfer the ones over. So it means you just take five of these and one of these. Now there is a speaker which you can use to turn up or turn down depending on how annoying you want to be. And overall it's pretty simple, just runs on regular uh, AAA batteries. And then there is also another game at the back called, which is a rhyming game. So, Level one. Let's rock out. Time to choose the words for our song. Touch a word on the guitar app. So we're going to go fog. Fog, brilliant. See, I'm so good. It rewards me as well. Going to touch dog. Okay. Dog, fog. Excellent. Okay, now it's asking me to touch cog. I'm going to see what happens if I press log. It tells me to touch it again. Now, going through the story, I'm going to stop that. Going through the story, you can pick out individual words. So you can learn what they how to pronounce them, which I think is pretty cool. And there are plenty of more books available when this eventually comes out later in the year. While the Leapfrog tag system is for those that are more traditional and prefer books, bringing it to the kids in the new wave sense is the Leapster 2, a games console with a very educational focus. Now, the idea Leapfrog says is that it mixes edutainment, uh, entertainment and education, i.e. edutainment, look what they've done there, to the kids without them realising it. So rather than a DS where you have possibly the chance of answering a couple of maths questions through brain training, but the majority of it's like sort of silly plumbers running around doing not much. Everything here is aimed at teaching maths, English, and other key subjects to them without them realizing. So what's it like? Well, it's big. As you can see, it's almost as if it's eaten about five Nintendo DSs, but 
hey, that doesn't matter. Now, the screen isn't great quality, but hey, it's kids, who cares? So you get a stylus, it's touch screen. Now, there's a number of features. One is that you can add more games via a cartridge-based system at the top, include the wonderful SpongeBob SquarePants, and there's also a load of other uh, Nickelodeon titles, and for Star Wars fans around there, there is also Clone Wars exclusively to this device for a games console point of view. Who would have thought Star Wars and maths would go together? In addition to that, you can also get an adapter to play SD cards, so you can put music or actually videos on here for the kids to be entertained with. And then there's actually some games on board, so for mum and dad's looking to pay the £60 out of the box, at least you can actually play something rather than having to buy a cartridge straight away. Now, where the Leapster comes into its own is with the addition of a USB socket for your computer. Now, the idea is once you've done some playing, you plug it in to your PC. It then connects to a Leapster world where, as a parent, and this is where it gets really cool, you can actually check the performance and how your child has done on the games that he or she has played. Now, some might say this is all very sort of George Orwell 1984 Big Brother stuff, but for me, I think it's a great way of being able to track to see whether your kid is actually doing quite well at maths or whether he's just a very good or not so good speller. Now, you'll be able to get like this report card on a weekly basis, check what's going on. It will also give you suggestions of other games, not surprisingly from a marketing perspective, but other games where you can increase your, your, your child's skills on their weaknesses, etc. And I think it's a really good way of getting parents to see how their child is doing from a learning perspective. And that's the Leapster 2. So what do we think? Well, both products are pretty innovative, to be honest. We haven't seen anything from any of the competitors, such as VTech or even Nintendo, for that matter, certainly on the Leapster 2. I think while the console itself is quite basic, the screen isn't great, the whole online connect element is quite clever. I think certainly for parents who want to have their children play computer games, but at the same time want to feel involved in the learning process, which I think has got to only be a good thing, it's certainly one of those things that will help. And at £60, you know what? It's not really going to break the bank that much. The tag thing, we love it. OK, there are some critics out there that no doubt are going to turn around and say, but I enjoy reading books to my children. That takes away that fun. Well, you know, I don't think it's about that. I think it's about keeping them quiet in the back of the car, certainly on the, on the long road down to Cornwall or something. It's about getting them to learn individual words. It's about getting them to think about rhyming and words and stuff. And the only real complaint we have about the tag system is that when we press the num when we press the letters, for example, it wasn't phononics. And you know, there's that's the way it's all sort of going. So I would like to see that in perhaps a, a, a different revision. There's also that question about locality and enough information. You're in probably from up north and someone talking the Queen's English might not be your idea of teaching your child how to talk the way you want it to talk. Other than that though, I think it's a brilliant idea and certainly with books such as Hat and a Cat and a Hat and, and Paddings and Bear and other titles coming along, it's certainly going to have lots of interest further down the line rather than just Aussie and Mac have some fun. Well, that's it for this week. Hope you've enjoyed the show. Why don't you tune in next time for more news, reviews, tips, tricks, opinions, and much more. I'm Stuart Miles. This is Megawatt TV. Thanks for watching.